All right, all right, all right. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Somebody give me a sound check. Let me know if I if you hear me okay. Let me pull up your questions here. Good morning, everybody hears me okay. Let's see if the screen is good. Where's my screen audience view? Yep, you got my screen. Good morning, good morning, good morning. We're gonna let people um, crawl in. Uh, what time is it in Melbourne right now? What is it? It's Is it nine at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m.? I think it's it's nine, right? You're plus 14? Nine, yeah. That's why we do it. We do it for you guys. Um, all right, I've been up since 2 a.m., so I am punchy as AF, as we say in America. Um, okay, I got, I got incredibly cool stuff to show you, but bear with me a second. I totally forgot something. I need to give you the link. So let me um, – oh, damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay, just, just bear with me a second, guys. I need to do something. Okay. All right, where are we on the thing? Is the thing okay? I'll keep the um, I'll keep this going. Let me just let me dig up this link which I gotta send to everybody. Yeah, actually, let me take take all your questions, put it to my other screen. Hopefully, I will see all of you guys. Okay. No matter how many screens I have, I never have enough. Okay. So, okay, let's make sure you guys have this. I'm, I'm I'm chatting this to you. Obviously, everybody. I'll send this to everybody. In um, hang on, sorry. I'll send this to everybody in 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 email. Okay, send to all. Okay, all right. I just sent. I sent you guys the you know the original link. Um, which had the the eight cap MT4 MT5 um, executables, but now it should have a folder called scripts. And if you guys see that folder called scripts, please tell me that you see it. Um, okay, does everybody? Somebody give me a a yes or no. Do you guys are you guys seeing this folder that? Uh, Okay, so you see the, the folder called scripts. Okay, so let, the way it, sh it should be looking is like this. So if I go in here, you should be looking at the course PDF, the five and the four executables, and this folder called scripts, right? You guys with me? So you got to click that link. Click that link, and it should take you to over here. Let's make sure everybody is 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 in this is in this folder. Click the link and you should all be here, right? There is no password, nothing there. So let's make sure is everybody is everybody seeing what, what I'm showing you when you click the link. All right, we have a lot of new people coming in. So okay, Gary tells me yes. All right. Okay, let me uh, let me send the link to everybody again. To make sure, because all the new people came in. All right, very good. DW sees it as okay. All right, so here's what we're gonna do. Um, okay, um, let's first order of business is let's just download. We're gonna click on this and click download. Okay, and just that's it. Don't worry about anything else for right now. It's gonna come down into your zip file scripts.zip we're going to leave it alone for the time being because um i want to do a few things before we get to um to learn to the, the, the class about scripts um let everybody just sort of uh scroll in it's not an email it's in the chat box it's in the chat box in the chat box in the chat box in the chat box um Okay, I've chatted this to you guys. Go look over there. It should say MT4 downloads. Um, after the course is over, I mean, after the class is over, I will send it to you in an email format as well. So if you don't, if you haven't gotten it now, you can just watch me do everything and then practice a little bit later. Okay, practice a little bit later. But for now, um, 
um, just ignore it, okay? Okay, so today we're gonna do one thing, one thing only, which is how to use MT4 scripts, which, is, which are very, very cool things that um, are essentially one-time, one-use programs, okay? And next week we're gonna talk about the final uh, path of our journey, expert advisors, how to use full-scale programs to, uh, uh, to kind of automate your trading. But before we start, um let's just uh first of all get comfortable and understand all the stuff that we've already done we've talked about the five modules i'm going to review quickly for everybody who's new or who hasn't who hasn't been with us in the first two classes the basic modules of mt4 we have the five modules of mt4 which is market watch which is where the quotes are the data window which gives us very specific information about a particular instrument so this one is given me by euro dollar, but if I were to click on, oh, sorry, every chart is a euro dollar. Oh, I have a very cool trick that somebody on the YouTube channel um, told me about, which uh, frankly, it is shocking that after 10 years I didn't notice, but this is, this is super, super cool. Say you have um, a chart here in the euro dollar and you wanna quickly change it to pound dollar. Click on the pound dollar quote, drag it in here. Boom, voila, we changed to pound dollar. Isn't that cool? Um, I literally had no idea that that's, uh, uh, that's how you do it that, that quickly. Now I've showed you all the sorts of tricks, you know, in terms of um, how, to, how to click in here to change date and change, um, uh, change the name of the currency. And for, for that information, you can always go back and rewatch the earlier episodes. But this was kind of cool, right? This I, I literally no idea. So thank you, whoever, whoever is the snide, obnoxious little commenter on my YouTube channel. I welcome your sarcasm because you taught me something. So thank you. Um, anyways, so um, we you know we we learned a lot about uh, the various components of MT4: quote board, data window, charts, the navigator, which contains um, a tree-like structure that has your accounts, your indicators, your expert advisor, and your scripts. Those are the four primary uh, three things. Today, we're gonna to be dealing with this particular uh, structure called scripts. And then finally, your trade blotter, which is which is where you, um, you generate trades, right? Then we talked a lot about the idea of templates, right? A template is basically um, a way for you to, to customize your chart and have the software remember that customization. So over here, this is the template button. And uh, we had a, a template called Boris Look, but if we wanted to change it, for example, to Bollinger Bands, boom, all of a sudden, this chart looks like Bollinger Bands, right? Um, and you know, it, it, it has all these you know, different uh, permutations on it, okay? Now, by the way, um, while and, and of course I can go right back now to change it to uh, to Boris look. Um, one thing I wanted to kind of show you. This is my own my own personal preference. You can do it. You don't have to do it. I you know I like a very clean desk, and I also like a very very clean software. So when MT4 comes to you, it comes preloaded with all of these templates. Now I literally don't use any of them. But let's just say for argument's sake, I'm gonna keep the Bollinger Bands, but I, you know, I literally find all of this completely useless for me. Um, since I'm not an indicator uh, guy, I, I have one custom indicator and that's all I really wanna trade. So um, what I wanna do is clean up my default settings. And, what I, and this is what I like to do. I go into File, Open Data Folder, and let me just pop this up because it's off screen. So here it is. Comes, oh, come on over here. Comes on screen. So open uh, data file. It's going to open up Window Explorer, right? You guys with me? I'm going to go into my templates folder. This is the only way you can navigate an MT4. Always open data file because the actual, um, the actual link is deep, deep, deep inside a Windows directory. You'll never find it by just looking into Explorer. Open data folder is your starting point in everything you do always and forever in uh, MetaTrader 4. So I wanna just clean all this up and get rid of all these templates that I don't like. So I'm gonna hit delete, 
Uh, I'll keep Bull and Japan's and Boris look for a couple of you know reasons, and then I can just literally go do, 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 delete. I'm gone. Now look what happens. Look what happens. I'm going here. Oops, nice and clean, right? I can also go remove template one by one this way, but this is a much more efficient, brutal method of cleaning up my desktop. So I'm, I'm you know I'm done with all my templates. Um, I don't have it. So the next thing I like to do is I want to go into open data folder and clean up my scripts folder. So I'm going to go into MQL because they also give you a whole bunch of default scripts and I really don't want any of them. Okay. So I'm going to go into my scripts folder and I'm just going to get rid of all this crap. You don't worry about deleting it all. Anything that's, that's necessary, it will regenerate again. So nothing, you're not, you cannot hurt it by deleting this stuff. Remember, this is Russian made. You can never hurt the software. Uh, so you blew it all out, you're fine. Um, and one way, one way you'll see that you blew it out is if you click on the scripts folder, right click and you hit refresh, boom, suddenly you see nothing, nothing, right? Okay, good. All right, so now we're gonna proceed and um, go back to this scripts.zip folder that all of you have downloaded. And if you haven't downloaded, don't worry about it. Um, just watch me and we can rewatch this video. That's why we record it. You can, I'm going to go slow here and uh, you can just follow those steps. You know, on a, you can put the video on one screen and um, do your steps on the other screen after the course. If that's easier for you, you don't have to, don't get too frustrated following me right now in real time. Okay. This is really all to make sure that you just understand the sequence of steps. So I'm double click my zip folder. This is all obviously Windows based. I'm gonna click scripts over here and say extract all. It's going to extract to my destination folder downloads.scripts. I say extract, right? And boom, I got this. Now I have all these scripts which I've um, you know, which I've given you. Actually, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna delete this. It, it, it comes with a little PDF that tells you a little bit about the scripts. Um, it's actually kind of stupid. I'll get rid of it. Um, I wanna get, so, you know, I'm done. Now I just need to make sure I have, oh, damn. Oh, 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 why is this not here? Uh, hold on a second. I wanna make sure, uh, oh. There's one script that's not here. Guys, you have to bear with me. I gotta go to my other computer because I thought I did this script over there. For some reason, did not come. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Just bear with me. Because I don't want to, um, to do this. Delete all pending, yes. Okay, file. Just bear with me, guys. I'm 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 bringing that script to you guys in just one second. Because this is God, man. I thought I had it. Ah, uh, scripts. Delete all pending. Okay, um, so let's let's do this first. We're gonna, we're gonna do this in a two-step process. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take all of these scripts. I'm gonna take all these scripts. I'm gonna say Control C, Control C, just copy them, you know, or like right click, right click, copy, just just to make it easy for you. Right click, copy, right, and then we're gonna go we're gonna go into our MT4 folder. Gonna go into File. Open data folder. Yeah, you, you can do whatever you want. You can put it into a subfolder, you can do whatever you want. I, I just like to delete them because because I find them useless, but you can you can do that. So script, and then we're gonna paste. Paste. So what I've done is I've pasted all the scripts except one script which I forgot to upload or did just didn't for some reason did not upload before. Let me show you what that is. So we're going to go back into the scripts folder, and we're going to do this single single item. We're going to go into delete all pending. We're going to click on this. Just hit download. 
This will not have to force us to do a zip. It's just going to be it's just going to be in my download folder. And what we're going to do is go back to um, go back to the scripts folder. Sorry, this is not. I have a lot of folders here, so let's just make sure we get the right one. We're going to go back to. Uh, no, let me find let me find the right folder. Okay, you know what we're gonna do this? I'm gonna do this much easier for you guys so you're not confused. We're gonna go to, so here's MetaTrader. We're gonna go into File, Open Data Folder again. Always go back to the beginning. This is the easiest way to do this. Now in, the da in my Downloads folder, I just, I just downloaded something called Delete All Pending. I'm gonna click this, I'm gonna say Cut. I don't need to keep it in my Downloads folder, I'm gonna say Cut. Go back to this arrow. That's going to take me right back into, into my folder. Going to go back into MQL4, into scripts, and say paste. Now I should have all together, let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Should be eleven scripts in the thing. Okay. That's basically how you know how many you have. So I've I I Pasted all of that stuff into my folder. Now, I'm going to go into my scripts folder. Uh, excuse me, into my scripts folder over here. I'm going to right-click this and hit the refresh button. And all of a sudden, I got them all. I got them all. Okay? You guys with me? Really, really cool, right? So now, all of a sudden, all of these scripts are available for me to do cool stuff with them. And I'm going to show you exactly what you can do with all this uh, all this cool stuff um okay so remember uh how i said okay i'm, I'm gonna keep i'm gonna keep a bowl my bollinger band template right i'm gonna keep my bollinger band template and i'm gonna keep my boris look template right um and but before before i, I keep all these templates let's let's just see that this particular euro, euro dollar chart is on the five minute is on the five minute time frame. Let's turn this chart into dollar yen, just for argument's sake. Uh, this pound, this chart is, is pound, and um, let's um, let's turn that chart into the Dow 30, just for argument's sake. Okay, we're going to do this, right? Now the charts have been changed, but everybody can see that this is a 15 minute chart. This is a a uh, four hour chart, this is a one hour chart, and this is a five minute chart, right? Okay, so I could, I could say, say, say I wanted to change every one of these charts into a one hour chart, right? So I could do this, I can go click on the chart, click one hour, click on this chart, click on one hour, click on this chart, click on one hour, right? And I did that, you know? But imagine I have 20 charts, incredibly tedious. I got to do this click and click and click and click and click. What's a cool way for me to instantaneously, instantaneously change all my charts to whatever time frame I want? Well, that's the function of the change time frame all script, which is the first script we're going to look at. And so this script um, is very interesting but a little bit nuanced, so watch this carefully. I'm gonna double click the script, okay? It pops up. I'm gonna go into common, very, very important, very important. Before you do anything, you have to click allow DLL imports. If you don't do this, if you forget to do this, the script won't work. So click the allow DLL imports. Then go into the inputs box, and the inputs box right now is set to the five minute chart. So let's say fine, you know, we're gonna, we're gonna say, we want it to, you know, to be set to the five minute chart. Um, so we say, okay, we'll say, okay. And look, lo and behold, you guys see everything? Do you see how it all changed to the five minute chart at one click of a button? I want everybody to give me a yes. The magic of MT4. Now, I did this with four charts, but you could do this with 40 charts in one click. Cool? All right, very cool. Now, remember I said to you, we had, like in last course, we had 
templates. We had a port, uh, portfolios, which basically was a was a bunch of templates that we could um, that we could save. And there was also something called presets. Uh, and I said, let's say, let's save presets for lesson three, lesson four, um, because presets are specific memory instructions for the algo parts of uh, MT4, which is scripts. Scripts are one-time um, uh, programs and expert advisors, which are continuous programs. And sets are a set of memory instructions that you can save so that um, when you load it, all of the components of how you save something will be instantaneously memorized. So a very simple way that we can that we can create a set here, create a set here, is if we we, ch we go change time frame all. Again, we're going to click this on here. We're going to hit um, allow DLL imports, right? On, on the inputs chart, we're going to and this is by the way is, is in, in minutes in minutes. So we want to say 60 minutes, right? And right over here in the button over here, it's going to say save. And we're going to uh, just click this button called save. And out pops up the preset folder. And the set button has a dot set extension. And we're going to say six, uh, or you know, we can say one hour uh, change, time change. If you, want, if you want to do it this way, time change. Okay. Okay. And we can say, you know, we can say save, right? And then we can say, okay. Right. Now, I'm gonna click change time frame one more time, right? Make sure that the uh, common is allowed DLL imports. Um, sorry, let's just uh, actually let's let's let's. So I, I have it at five minutes, right? I have it at five minutes, right? So I'm gonna say common um, DLL imports. Say okay, change this back to five minutes, right? Right, great. Okay, fine. Now I'm going to click it one more time. And say, hey, you remember I had it on one hour charts. I really want that one hour chart setting. So I'm going to hit allow deal imports. I'm going to go into inputs and I want that one hour save setting. So all I have to do is hit the load button. The load button is going to bring up my preset folder. And in here, it'll say one hour time change sets. I'm going to say, yes, oh yeah, load that up. I'm going to say open and then say, okay. And boom, right away, it all changes to one hour. Right now, this is super simple, and you really don't need a set file for like a single function thing. But next week, when we do 55 configurations for how the EA should look, it's really nice to have a single memorized file that you can just load with all those 55 configurations with no problems. Right? So, um, just wanted to give you an idea. Um, sure. Yeah. Um, somebody's asking me how how to how to make sure how to re refresh something. This is universal in MT4 for anything for indicators for expert advice for scripts. You highlight the folder. By the way, when you highlight one folder, everything will get refreshed. Just so you should know. But just you know, for this case, um, you hit the scripts. You right click, right click this, and you hit within the right click menu, hit the refresh button, and it's all refreshed. Okay, that's the refresh button. All right, so we had we had fun we had fun with time, right? We we changed our time, blah blah blah, kind of fun. All right, what if I want to change um, all of these templates to the Bollinger Band look template, to the Bollinger Band look template, right? Here's where it gets really cool, but also just a little bit nuanced. So uh, so bear with me. So in order to to do this properly, we have to first go into our template. Um, template uh, folder and see the order, the actual order of all these templates. Furthermore, the counting order starts with zero, not one. The first value, the first template is effectively zero. Now, if you want to uh, make your life easier, and this is what I really do, I literally do this with my templates because you'll see, you'll see why it's, it's so cool is I will just literally go into my file, open data folder, um, folder templates, right? And I will literally rename them, rename them with um, the numerical values first. So zero Bollinger Band, 
you'll see why this is this is this is important in just one sec. One point uh Boris look and rename two uh two point default. Okay, I like to do this. And then you know then 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 they then they naturally uh and then I just close this. And when you go in here, you you see zero, one, two, right? Okay, cool. So if you numerically um, alphabet, numerically alphabet, alphabetize, alphabetize, oh God, alphabetize your templates. Um, it's going to make your life very easy for the, for this particular function. So here is a, a script called change template all. Change template all is going to do exactly what it what it means. It's going to take one template that you tell it to and change every other chart to that template look, which is a very very powerful function when you have 10, 20 charts open at one time. So um, change template all, I'm gonna, I'm gonna launch it. As with the change time frame, allow DLL imports must be clicked. Now the default value is zero. Remember Bollinger Bands, Bollinger Bands was, was given the zero, the zero value. So if I just stick with a default value, right? And say, okay, boom, look at that, look at that. Every chart changed to Bollinger Bands. What if I want to go back to my Boris look? If you remember, Boris look was the number one was was uh, one on this thing. So I'm going to go to change to template. Again, make sure I hit uh, allow DLL imports and simply in the input field say one. Now say OK, and boom, all of them got changed to um, to to Boris uh, Boris look template. Okay, a couple of questions. Let me see. You don't, you, you, you can't, you have to do this. Uh, you can't keep a lot of DLL box checked. You have to do it. Um, you have to just do it every time. Okay. Um, that's why, that's why I'm telling you to do it. You can't keep it. it for some reason, the way that the code is written, listen, it's free code. So, you know, you take what you can get. It's, it's, it's not that big a deal to just check it. Um, uh what if i i don't even know what is my default setting i don't even know what my default let's see what the default setting is oh here's default okay so what if i wanted to just you know really nice clean clean charts default is is the two, is the two value so change template all um go into common hit allow dll imports inputs number two boom all the charts are nice and clean all right which is good let's keep them let's keep them this way so now we have two scripts. One script can change all the time frames. Another script can change all the templates. Very, very cool, right? Now, what if I want to go buy some pound right now, right? So I will, I, in order for me to buy pound, I have to click on this, right? And remember, I bought the pound, I now have to put a stop loss. I have to go into modify. I got to put like a, you know, 200 point stop on the pound, 150 point target on the pound. Click this, and you know, uh, it took a long time. And what if I wanted to do this like with 10 currencies at the same time? Man, it was tedious as hell, right? Isn't this tedious as hell, right? Now I'm gonna click it out, right? Now what if I had a script? that did the following let's get let's get big here i'm going to go big pound and i want to buy pound at market i want to buy pound at market right what if i just click this look what happened look what happened i got long pound the stop loss is already put in the take profit is already put in and i'm ready to go i don't have to worry about anything with a single click i've put my tp my stop loss it's all done really really cool right Really, really cool. Um, now, this particular script has a pre-built a stop and target. So I think, like, what is the stop on this? This this was we bought a sixty-six. Sorry, where's what did I buy? I bought a twenty-seven. The stop is twenty, and the take profit is thirty-eight. Yeah, it's a it's a 10, 10 target twenty stop. Um, Next week, I'm going to show you a, a, more, a much more advanced uh, structure that will allow you to modify everything on the fly. That's that's a that's a, our own proprietary tool that I'm going to be showing you. 
But for now, that you know, this is what I want. This one I want to show you. If if you have interest in modifying this and everything else, I'll be happy to send you um, the actual code, and you can modify the code. But that's outside the um, the domain of this uh, um, of this course. It's just the course is here to show you the possibilities of all the cool stuff that um, you know that this stuff does. Okay, so um, you know now I you know I have the script that allows me to automatically buy pound. What if I wanted to also, you know, uh, sell yen, right? I'm in yen. What if I wanted to sell yen? Look, I'm going to click yen. Boom. And I'm done. I sold yen. Single, one double click on the, um, uh, on the sell market, in, you know, of the particular uh, chart. And I'm in trade with risk control wrapped around. With risk control wrapped around. And by the way, um, you know, you don't need to actually code. I, you can actually physically, as long as I my 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 cursor is super big because I made it too very big for you guys. But you can actually lift uh, visually your stops, your your targets, like this on a chart, and um, you can adjust them. You can adjust them visually um, if you want. So you already have a preset stop and a target which already ensures that you have everything all organized and then you can modify them just like that, you know, by, by visually, visually making the, uh, um, the charts going on. Right. So now I have buy market and, um, you know, buy, you know, excuse me. <clears throat> um, you know, I, I, I bought pound, I sold yen. Let's also just for argument sake, um, we want to get, I don't know, let's get long euro, buy market euro. So I'm going to buy market euro. So now I have three positions. I'm long, long pound, long euro, sell the short yen, right? Now, what if I don't like my yen position? I'm going to go to yen right now. I don't like this yen position. I think it's going to go, it's, it's going to rise. So I want to get rid of it, right? You see where it says um, close all trades current right here? That's going to give me the chance. Let, watch what I'm. Watch what happens when I when I uh, when I click this. What happened? My yen trade, which is the current chart, the chart on which I had to focus, got blown out. I just closed it out, right? But what if I had? Um, let's just you know buy yen. Um, let's buy um, the Dow 30. Let's put on four positions. Just for oops, sorry, oops, uh, wrong one. Uh, buy, buy Dow 30. All right, what's going on over here? Oh, ah, this is it's not going to work. It's not going to work with the uh, with the CFDs because it has because uh, uh, the the stops and targets are too tight for this. So let's do this. Um, uh, let's add. Let's add Aussie. A U D. Uh, USD dot I. Let's add, let's add Aussie into this chart, and let's buy Aussie. Okay, so we're long pound, long euro, long yen, long Aussie, all long, right? And now I'm like, you know what? I don't like this position. I don't like any of this. I want to. I want to get out of the. I want to get out of everything. I want to get out of everything. How do I get out of everything? Well, I could do this. I could do this. One. Okay. Two, three, four. Tedious as hell. Takes me a long time, and I'm, and I'm in the meantime, I'm freaking out because stuff is moving against me. You know, I, I don't want to do this, right? Or let's reestablish positions. We're gonna do buy market here, buy market here. Oops, Ugh, sorry, I keep keep hitting the wrong button. Buy market here. Um, let's and let's do sell. In this case, we'll do two sells, two two buys, just to establish positions. Um, Sell cable, sell euro. So now I got um, I got three positions, you know, and whatever, you know, they're, they're going for me, they're going against me. I want to get rid of them all. I want to get rid of them all. Remember, in close trades current, it was only the single current chart. But if I want to close all my trades, all I got to do is click close all trades. One single click, um, and you're done. Pretty cool, right? Pretty, pretty cool, right? 
Okay, let's absorb all of this. So we were able to buy on a click, uh, buy multiple positions, close only the current, uh, let, me, let me just do one more, one more thing. By, by, by multiple positions, close only the current chart if we wanted to, close only the current chart, or close everything. Tell me that doesn't make your life easier. Tell me that, that that's not super cool and super, super useful for when you're trading, especially when you got lots of um, decisions to make and you got to make them super quick, right? So everybody like that? Okay. So now we can go even one step further. A lot of you, a lot of you like buying in staggered levels. Let's just say I am, I'm bullish Euro dollar. Euro dollar, you know, took out the 120s. I think it's, you know, um, overall, a positive trend. It's coming into support now, right? And let's say I like buying your dollar in batches, in batches from 120 all the way down to 1950. Let's say I want I want to do this in five different batches. I want to just buy it down. So every time it comes down five, ten pips, I want to be able to um, to buy it, right? So watch what I can do. I can hit this script called buy limit multiple, right? Buy limit multiple. I'm gonna double click this. And this is this is where it gets really, really cool. I'm gonna go into inputs. I'm gonna, gonna get big for you guys on the inputs, right? And there's lots of little things that I can configure. And by the way, this is where we can use our uh, preset value to create all sorts of really interesting um, possibilities that we can then memorize for, for the future. So let me, this, again, remember, this is all free stuff written by a bunch of East Europeans. So it's, it's hardly intuitive. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna explain to you exactly what it, what it does. First is the size of our position. So say I want to um, start with um, uh, 0 0.1, 0 0.1, right? That's gonna be my initial start. But then I want to, for, and, and, and I don't want to increase my size. In the first, in the first example, we're not going to increase any size. We're just going to buy the exact same size. So the multiplier, what they call lot exponent, is going to be 1.0, right? It's it's just like the exponent factor. So just to the first to the first power is is one. If it was to the second power, it would be two. This guy went really really crazy and went to the decimal second power. So you could do one and a half, one and a half times the size, and one and a half times the size, so on and so forth, right? Then pip step is basically um, the, the uh, uh, amount of differences between each particular buy. So do I want to buy every five pips down or do I want to buy every 10 pips down? So let's say I want to buy every 10 pips down. I want to buy every 10 pips down uh, on this position. How many trades do I want to have? Let's say I, I want to I do all the way down to 1950, so I'm going to buy five trades. I'm going to do this five times, right? And then the final most important thing, is I need to put a starting value. So let's say my starting value will be 120. If you start, you know, if it goes to 120, that'll be my first purchase price, right? So watch what happens now. So, oh, uh, and you know, let's just um, save this. We're gonna save this on a preset basis as, um, uh, I don't know, five, no lever. I'll call that five no lever because because I'm, I'm not increasing my size. Okay, say okay. Right, look what's happening. Look what's happening. It instantaneously, instantaneously, put out five orders to buy my position at increments of ten pips each, starting at the buck 20 level, at the buck 20 level, okay? You guys with me? Cool, right? 
super, super cool. Okay. Um, so what if I wanted to just, you know, delete all of these pending, pending orders, right? Remember, um, the close close trades is for live trades, but what if I want to have a script that just wanted to delete anything that's that's not that's not a live trade, but just simply sitting there as a pending order? All I got to do is hit delete all pending. That was a script that I was um, forgot to give you, and boom, now we're blown out. We're blown out of the of the whole position, right? Now, what if I wanted to do the same thing with a pound? I'm going to go buy limit multiple, right? And I'm going to now load load my preset. And we call it five no lever set. Open it up, right? Except, 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 remember that because the value of each currency is different, the only thing we would have to change here is the starting value of um, the currency price, because this is this is 139. So let's say I'm gonna say 139.10. I'm gonna start over here. And if I were to do this like this, it would now do the same thing for pounds. Allow me to go buy in batches, right? Um, there's a lot of questions here that are, um, the magic number is, is a unique number that, that is required to every, for every, um, every algo in, uh, in MT4. So don't worry about it. It's just, it's just, it just, with that magic number differentiates this particular algo from this algo, from this algo, from this algo. It's, an, it's like an identifier. So you don't have to worry about it. Just leave it alone. Do U.S. brokers allow multiple buy orders or is it only a buy sell pair you know so the rules are different michael uh, i really you know uh it, it i'm, I'm going to bypass all the u.s rules because they're ridiculous um you can experiment um the cool thing is the cool thing is that you can even you can beat the u.s brokers if you wanted to with this particular algo in one particular way so let's say the u.s brokers say to you oh you cannot have the same size order. I remember, I think, I believe it's a matter of size. You, you can't have the same size order, you know, for for currency pairs. So, so one way we can do this is watch what's watch what's so cool about this. I'm gonna blow this out, and I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna load this up again. Uh, let's say I'm gonna go back to the euro. Let's go use our euro example. We're gonna go buy limit multiple. We're gonna load load our particular uh, settings, right? But now we're going to change. We're going to change the lot exponent to two. We're going to just multiply, um, multiply every time um, we want to buy by 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 factor of two. So watch what happens now. I'm going to say okay, right? And look what's happening. The euro goes one tenth of a lot, two, four, eight, sixteen. Now. Um, this is effectively Martingale, right? I know everybody, uh, nobody likes, to, everybody will tell you Martingale is, is, is a road to suicide. And of course it is. But if you're doing it in small size, it can be very helpful, especially if you don't get crazy. Like this is, this is five, you know, five levels deep. I think if you go three levels deep, um, it can actually help you. Because what's happening in this particular structure is you're buying more at presumably the best, you know, the, the greatest value. If, if, if your thesis is true, that somewhere around here is a value proposition. And somewhere around here, the price is, you know, it's really, it's really, really great price for this. So therefore, I want to buy the most for it. And I'm going to assume that it's, you know, that if it does come in here, there's at least some chance that it's going to bounce from this value proposition. Then certainly I want to buy the most at the cheapest price. And this algo essentially um, allows you to, uh, to do that, right? So, uh, it's a very, very dangerous algo, but it's very seductive. So like like all like all things Martingale, it's very seductive. But you, you know, you use judiciously, um, you know, it's it's actually quite good. Um, so one thing we could do here, if you wanted to just not get crazy with your with your multiplication, remember, this guy was super smart. He gave you he gave you um the ability to uh uh the ability to uh uh oh sorry. Uh, cancel. Um, oh no, let me let me load this up. Sorry. Uh, so he give you the ability to um, 
not have to go to like huge exponents. You could go maybe 1.2 exponent, right? Let's, I, didn't, I, I have no idea what a 1.2 multiplication is gonna give me, but let's just give it a shot. Um, say, okay. Oh, so I guess on the third or the fourth level, um, it, you know, it doubles up my, my size, right? It's, it's, just, it's just a much more modest, modest um, increase in leverage, which is also very good. Because if you think about this, if you if you if you're too large on your third and your fourth and fifth uh, purchases, your average cost is going to be very very close to your to your cost over here. Your break even cost is going to be very close too, right? So you could you could play around with this. Um, no, you don't need to click the DLL. The, the, DLL, the DLL the click DLL were only only specific to um, to change to 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 to, to change things. That's why that's why you see I don't I'm not doing it. Um, and there's nothing here that I need to do, okay? So um, I know it's very confusing, but it's only change, the two change things that re require that little function. Um, I don't want to get into the technicals of why that is, but you know, I think it has to do with the uh, with the array function in there. Anyways, um, so you can see how you can you know you can buy limit. You can obviously, of course, let me just delete this. Um, the same the same uh, way of you know buying low, you can also sell high, right? So let's say you wanna, you think you know cable is done at the 140, like it's exhausted itself, and if it if it, if it runs up there, it's gonna it's gonna do a um, um, a double top. So I can do sell limit multiple on cable. So I can I can load this up. We can go into our inputs. We can load our five level um, setting. But this time, you know, we're going to modify our obviously our pricing from 139.50. That'll be our start price. And let's get crazy. Let's get 3.0. I'm going to show you. I'm, I'm going to really introduce you to, to the crack of this. And let's, by the way, let's get even more granular. Let's say we're going to do this every five pips, just for argument's sake. And let's go. I don't know, eight levels deep. Just get crazy. Just just to show you how crazy this this can be. I can go okay, right? And it's gonna lay out. <laughs> Let me just show this to you. Uh, this is, you know, this is why you should never do this, just to show you. So you start out with one one hundredth of a lot, and your final trade is you're throwing in everything but the kitchen sink. And you're throwing in 21 lots into that position. So really, really stupid. I, you know, I I, I don't recommend this, but uh, it just shows you the power, the power of this particular algo. Um, obviously, this is the extreme um, example of this, uh, but if you use it judiciously, um, it can be very, very powerful. So just, just wanted to show you. So you know, all of it is uh, super, super easy, done like that. And then we're gonna just um, delete all pending and get rid of this. And so um, the final. The final script that we have here is what's called buy stop. Buy stop is imagine, imagine I am completely different type of trader. Imagine I'm a breakout trader. And what I see is like the, the value trader sees sells all the way up here because the value trader thinks this is this is the top, and any any um, you know uh, entry over here is a great short entry. But the momentum trader says, oh no, if they're gonna take out the highs of this range, not only is this gonna be a great you know, run, but it's, this is likely gonna be a continuation of, of the longer term pattern. And I wanna get long on every uh, move higher, on, on every rally up uh, you know, in my move, right? So, um, so, th so the momentum trader is gonna do the exact opposite. He's gonna sell stop multiple. So what we're gonna do in here is gonna use this one, Say it's the same principle. I'm going to go into inputs. Um, we're going to start here. We, we're certainly not going to do uh, 3.0. Let's just do I don't know 2.0 for uh, or one one and a half. One and a half probably one and a half is kind of a like a nice modest suggestion. Um, we're going to do uh, five trades at 10 pips each, and we're going to and remember in order to to buy stop, you got to be above the market. So I have to be at least above 39.21. So I'll say 139.25. If 
if it starts running, I want to be in this trade. So here we go. And now, uh, Oh, 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 I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, I did sell stops. Sell stops are below the market. This is basically this is basically a structure that says, oh, if this thing falls, I want us to keep selling all the way down in larger size, larger size at the at the most extreme lowest case. Um, very, very I, I really don't recommend this because what you're basically doing is you're selling the most at sort of the most extreme selling position that only works when you have just extremely extremely strong one-way trends which is very very rare um, if i wanted to do the buy version i should have been using the the, the buy the buy stop i my, i was i clicked the wrong thing so i'm going to do buy stop multiple inputs over here that we're going to do um i don't know let's just use one let's just be judicious five points five levels and we're going to buy it at 139.25 Okay, I'm gonna put this over here, say okay. And um, now it's gonna lay it out above and it's gonna buy, buy me in uh, in equal size every five pips up as I get into the trade. Okay, so let me see if there's any questions here. Okay, guys, let me look at your questions. Okay, um, I don't see any additional questions here. So are you guys good um, in all of this? Um, so to review, to review, what we have learned today is the ability to automate a lot of our execution processes. The most important execution process that we learned to automate is simply buying market, selling market. We've also learned how to close all trades and how to delete all pending trades so that we can get out of positions super quickly um, if we change our mind, if the, market, if the market information changes, if anything else changes. We've also learned how to change the look and feel of various charts, uh, both from a time frame. So I can go to um, change time frames all from this one hour time frame into the five minute time frame. Just click um, all DLL imports. I already have the five minute, and now I've changed my my time frame to a five minute. I can also change my um, my charts, um, the look and feel of my charts by basically uh, changing them to um, whatever numerical value I have over here. So in this particular case, I believe it's the Boris signal charts that are. The, oh no, it's the Bollinger Bands charts that were signal, and I just changed them all to look this way. If I wanted to look the way I wanted to look, which is Boris look, it's going to be one. The change template all allow DLL inputs one, and I'm able to do this right. Um, and if I like my um, if I like my my euro to the short side, I can just literally double click sell euro, and I'm in the trade with with uh, with just a single click. Um, I'm gonna I, I'm gonna ignore the trade reversal function right now because it's too uh, um, it, it's too advanced for the you know for, for this uh, for this chapter. I may come back to it next week. I just I just want you know I just want people to use the basic functions. I'll come back to it next week. Henrik always wants to know every little thing. I appreciate your interest and your curiosity. But remember, I'm really teaching the course on the most basic basic fundamental level. I want people to be able to take baby steps not run over here so um so i just wanted to, to you know to use the basic functions but good question um all right my friends any questions i i unfortunately i gotta wrap this up because i have a very very um tight schedule i gotta go I, I have a meeting at eight um as always this will be saved as always i'm going to send you the link um now the link contains all the scripts um as always, practice this on demo first and foremost. Enjoy it. And next week, I'm going to take it a step higher, a notch higher, and we're going to show you more advanced abilities using expert advisors to do execution and trade management. So hopefully, you're going to like all that as we uh, as we proceed. Okay, my friends. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you for joining me. 
I will see everybody next week. Same bat channel, same bat station, same bat time. Everybody have a wonderful time. Take care.